Legend of Total War here, and I'm with Soul Games Inc. And this is part eight of the Total War Attila head-to-head. Uh, -head. Things are going well. Things are going well for me. <laughs> for him, yeah, for him. Yeah. The Thuringians. Hmm. Okay, so I was going to attack Tullifodum, but I'm second guess. Oh, they've got a bunch of warhounds, so that can't really save them. No. Basically, those are just empty unit slots. <laughs> Pretty much. How many forces they got there, then? They've just got the one. Oh. The other one might be camping at their uh, capital. Maybe. Oh, right. We're not going to be able to move out of Argelia without first... I might not be able to do this this turn. Depends on how much we lose on this. Yeah, because some of my, my forces are still diminished. I might have to wait a turn mm. before attacking Tully Frodo. I mean, I can do it in the winter, it's no problem. But, um... I've got to move into position. <laughs> There's two full stacks of Huns and the Jutes uh, smack man in the center of Italy. Some, yeah, fucking... Ravani or whatever? R not Ravani, that's not of Dragon Age, I think, but Ravani or some boss. Ravenna. Ravenna, yeah. That's, that sounds more Get your correct. pronunciation right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't care if you don't pronounce, pronounce things right. No, no, it's not for you. It's more for the fucking people in the comments that are going to be getting pronouncing shit wrong. Don't, like, don't get me started on uh, those assholes. Fuck those guys. But yeah, uh, there are two hun stacks in Italy, and the Franks have taken yet another region of uh, Verona, or whatever the fuck it's called, in Italy as well. Mm. So, yeah, uh, the Western Roman Empire is pretty much gone. Yeah, Wait a minute. looks that... like it. I think Rome's been burnt to... Let me see. Rome still exists. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's slightly yeah, down it still further south, isn't it? Yeah, it's further south. I think they... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're definitely destroying the Roman Empire, though. This is. Oh yeah, I think. I think at this point the Roman Empire is dead. At least yeah. the uh, the Western one is completely and utterly fucked. <laughs> oh, that makes as much for my puppet states. What's going on? Have a look at Illyrio and. I don't know. I'm surprised no one's betrayed me recently. Anyway, it's time to get my third stack. Now, how do I do that? From here. All right then, let's have a look. Who's who's nice and young, and who's got some stuff that's going to be of some use? So we've got a guy here who's a power monger. I don't care about that. We've got a leader who's got authority. Authority doesn't interest me. Relentless attacker. Morale when attacking. Don't really need that. Sage research rate. Interesting. He's winning. Dignitary tax rate. That's no good. Okay, so the sage, he's to be hired. Okay, that's going to lower my income slightly, but that's okay. Ready for orders. Move out. You have further orders? Hmm. Father be praised. Yeah. Well, that starts off with full growth, so that's decent as well. Thirsty for battle. Eighty five food surplus, that Father seems alright. What kind of all right, I need four surplus for this. Fair enough. The Jutes have a four-star host. They've been around so much. Yeah? Well, how mm. about my guy? He's like six stars. No, uh, their general is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, their general is six stars, but uh, the actual host itself... Oh, right, right. Wow, jeez. But I think they get, they get experience a lot faster than our guys do. Mm. Uh, they were around in the British Canal, just fucking up everyone that moved as well for quite a long time. Well, my income on this turn is 18. Nice. More than I got. Yeah. I guess. Ah, yeah, crap. Alright, so the angles. Hmm. I should probably sabotage their movement. So if they do decide to attack me, that yeah. um, they can't truly chase me too far. Succeed, come on, succeed. Ah, oh, it failed. <laughs> come here, bloody help you for some reason. Me. 
Come on, succeed. I've got 57% chance. Fail. 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 Woohoo! God damn it. At least one of them Small gained a level up. Well, they might not attack me. They might not. Okay, so this guy here, misdirection. Yeah, let's increase his cunning by two. So that should help him out in future. But that's disappointing. Yeah, because if they attack me, I mean... If they've just got a lot of war dogs, that really shouldn't help them that much. I could probably win, because they've also got a lot of pikes. Which actually, pikes, pikes can be okay. Ready for battle. Thirsty for battle. I'm not at full strength. So if you lay siege to the city and I'm defending the city, you will either take it with heavy casualties or I'll win. Most I'm going to hire a bunch of mercenaries. <laughs> just to stop them from hiring them. It's going to cost me a lot for the turn, but then now my income's minus two and a half thousand. <laughs> you can afford it. I can afford it, yeah. At this rate, it would take me about 30 turns to go broke. Anyway, moving on to your turn. Yeah. That's it, just really to deter them from attacking in the first place. Mm. Yet yeah, enough. We'll see what they do. I don't. I don't want to raise it because then you'd sack the other place and get them as your tribute to the state and probably gain a stack. Yeah. To attack me with. Maybe. I hope we won't know now because you didn't raise it. Let's we'll just have to see how mm. it goes. Well, they have two stacks and you've only got one inside the trap or whatever the fuck you want to call it. So. I don't know. We'll see. Till he heard him, I guess. Till he heard him. I should probably know the name of my original fucking capital that I oh, started who, off with at no, the very don't. beginning of it. <laughs> the Langobards want peace. They're offering 300. But why? They're really, really weak now, so I'm not going to accept that. They had their chance and they screwed it. Yeah. The Huns having their turn. Eastern Roman Empire. Someone picking up the bins, or something? Yep, that's what I did before, take out the bins. Alright. Tell them to go out there and tell them to make less fucking noise. It's not that loud. I could open up the windows and the doors and everything, and that'll make it really loud. Your, your mic picks up a lot of shit. Yeah. Yeah. See, mine would as well. Mine would pick up literally everything outside like yours is right now. But uh, I got it set to not as anywhere near as sensitive as that. Yeah. Problem is, if I don't set it to this sensitivity, I can't. I have to basically yell into it in order for it to pick up my voice. Hmm. Well, mine's quite quiet. My voice is quite quiet, but it picks it up like perfectly crystal clear usually. Yeah. And if I turn up the grain, which increases the sensitivity of it and whatnot, it picks up fucking like everything in the room. Yeah. Okay, so the angles are having their turn, and they've done they moved, nothing. Yeah, they did me. nothing. They moved up north, and that's about it. The Thuringians are also moving up north. I think they're just waiting for me to like have a battle so that they can then fight my mm. like remnant troops. That's what I think. Probably. I am losing eight hundred every turn. I'm losing two and a half thousand a turn. Come on, don't betray me, don't betray me. What are they doing? Good, they didn't. Why am I at war with Italia? No idea. Why are you at war with Italia? Why the... Yeah, what the fuck? Because they're at war with the... No, they're allied to the Ostrogoths. What the hell is with Italia? Maybe because they're Welcome, Roman. But expect scan Not a clue. Ugh, I haven't even met them before. What the fuck? I am sure you have many pleasantries. They don't want peace. Stupid Burgundians. I'm now ranked number 13. And the Eastern Roman Empire is ranked number 1. Okay, and it's winter today. Yep. Father be praised! How can I help? Okay, so... Warriors all. What mercs are available? Oops, that's not mercs. Ready for battle! 
There's a few. A handful of them. I don't know if I really need to worry about that, though. How are we holding up? We're at near full strength. For the tribe. We do outnumber the men at Tullyfertum. I'm just concerned. But then again, we're up against dogs. I mean, I could probably fight that battle manually if I really wanted to. Oh, then again, knowing you. Hold hmm? up just in the oh, the, the, the dogs are useless. I don't think I could do much with dogs. <laughs> They're not totally useless, because my units aren't that heavy just yet. What's their allies? Do they have any? They have mm, a client no. set of the Langobards. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, let me just try something. The Roman Western Roman Empire might like... Speak if you must. No. But no. No. Am I What's the Roman Empire leads? likes no one at this no, point. No, it's the Western <laughs> Empire. Oh. Right. Um, just see, how much money am I making from vassals? About the same as usual. It's, it's unit upkeep is what's killing me First at the moment. Alright, here we go. Don't call in the Allens. Actually, yeah, call in the Allens. Who cares if they don't betray... They don't join in. We take this settlement for the tribe. Okay, well I win this basically just with my first stack, or the second one's there as well, but we've got a third one. Laying siege mm. to their hovels. I see no reason not to bring him in. Starting It'll help out. reduce my casualties. Oh, yeah, it's hardly anything. Yeah. I think we'll go Listen, aggressive stance. The war dogs are basically just. Kind of father, really. Yeah, they're, they're filler troops. It's like specialist troops used to tr try and scare the enemy, but if you use only them, it's not going to work. Yeah. So I might lose, I don't know, six to eight hundred men, which that. I don't think is that much. I lost five hundred ninety-six, so it's actually slightly less than my minimum thoughts. Not too and bad. hardly any of my mercenaries got killed, which is annoying because I want to disband them. But to sack the settlement, it's only worth four and a half thousand. It's not too bad. It's not that good either. I've seen eight thousand now. That's what I want to go for. Okay, now with their other army up this way, I want to try and sabotage him. If I can sabotage him, maybe I'll raise the settlement to the ground. As in, if I can hinder his forces. Hinder him moving, movement. Hmm. Now see, this is why I didn't take uh, their previous one that I sacked. Because yes, you could what? just subjugate them. And yeah. then you get the free army. Pretty much. Okay, so I might raise that settlement to the ground. Maybe not this turn, though, because the Thuringians are right here. And raising it, I do need to sort of retrain these units. Now, I should be able to subjugate the, uh, the Langobards, I'm assuming. They have one region, if you kill them, yeah. We take this settlement for the tribe. Although they are already a tribute state of a different person, aren't they? That's what I'm thinking, but since I'm at war with that person, I should just be able to take them off them. That's what you I'm assuming. You think so? I mean, they wouldn't well, be the tribute, the tribute state of somebody else if they get conquered. Yeah, that's the thing. They're about to get conquered. They should change their allegiance. That's my you'd thoughts. Think. Mm. You'd think, but we don't know for certain. And that's what I need to find out right now. I cannot subjugate them. Hmm. Stupid. Hmm. But they're I still not worth it to raise raise their settlement, I think. Thirsty for battle. So, I don't know how that's going to work. Well, whatever. Send it back here. <sighs> Feeling a bit tired. Hmm. That's not too bad. What time is it now? Uh, it's... How can I help? Get like, ten. Half ten. Not too bad. Oh, okay. We got probably another hour and a half or so before I'll probably call in that. Yeah, fair and enough. Do something else before I sleep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let me 
seeing here. Um, yep, that sounds good. Grab that. Cool. Okay, now, battle. you need... Oh man, this guy's got no authority at all. Which is fine, because you don't really need authority. However, he gives extra research right with that, with Sage. I don't think that's really that useful just yet. Maybe wait till the next level up before we worry about that. But that could be a, that could be useful. Good, reduce upkeep costs. Alright, and you over here, you get another level up. Oh, multiple stuff. Oh good, extra growth. Plus also provides a bit of extra wealth, that always helps. And, okay, how can we improve you? Okay, that provides extra authority, which we don't really need, but we need to get somewhere, so grab that. Okay, then. Not too bad, I think. Not too bad, All of this is slightly ironic that you yeah. ended up uh, laying siege to my original capital. Yes, and I just sacked it. Yeah. Okay, so what am I going to build here? I think... Hmm, what do I need? Some extra food would be good. If I had lots of uh, food surplus, I'd get more growth, which is what I really need. Hmm. So I might build the herders camp, because that provides the most food out of anything else. It only takes one turn to build, so that'll come in handy. Ready for orders. Okay, this one over here, I can also upgrade the goat pens here, but that only provides like 20 extra food which isn't much, or I could wait another couple of turns and build a new camp. Which is probably worth more money as well. Slightly. Mm. Ready for battle. Okay, and I'm gonna merge these wankers. And this one. What I might do is actually get another lot of artillery just in case. We need good fighters. Death in battle. There is yep. no fighter. And what do we got? Can recruit one more unit. Okay, so I'll merge. Merge this and this and get me one of these. Are you ready to do your duty to the Okay, tribe? I think that works for me. What can this be? Hmm, I can upgrade my bows from Germanic bows to Germanic hunters. They have slightly more ammunition, two extra hit points, but they're missile. They're basically the same thing. They're, they're twice the upkeep. Hmm. So it's not worth then it. Maybe That's not then. No. Garbage. That's crap. Yeah, okay. These over the here. The birds agree. Yes, I guess so. I agree with everything. Losers. They should not form their own goddamn opinion. Okay, I'm just gonna mm -hmm. get Germanic Hurlers first because they're it's cheap. I'm gonna get two at a time, that's fine. And over here, what can Ready we merge battle. and recruit? Merge these Germanic Levy for the more expensive Germanic Spearmen, but they happen to be better, so... It's not too bad if I get them. So Germanic Spearmen, Death grab one of those. No I think I'll also get rid of these ending. Mounted Brigands. But yeah, because they're too expensive. Good, and that's drastically improved my economy. Still still taking a deficit. This is probably the longest turn yet. Yeah, it is. Well, I had to stuff to do. I actually had stuff to do. It's rare, isn't it, nowadays? Often the turns have been fucking quick, recently. Yeah, okay, and I'll send... This spy up north to look, watch for you. Ah, okay. stay away from me, we are damn spies. Now I can see you. I think this is a. F yeah, okay, so I can see what you've got. You've got a lot of these Nordic. L oh man, they're garbage units. Yeah, I can't really build much fucking else. Yeah, they're garbage. you got you got some decent cavalry. Yeah. Those lances, are, well, they're awesome. mercenaries. They're probably costing you a lot of money. I mean, if you're auto resolving a lot. The Nordic Levy will probably serve you just fine. Anyway, we'll move on to your turn. Wait, yeah. if I jacked up the taxes... Even to maximum, it doesn't 
help enough. As I go, I don't mind if I lose a thousand a turn. We've got forty-two thousand in reserve. Um, I am fucked. I'll be all right. Let's move on to your turn. Uh -huh. Meantime, you're sneaking up yeah. on me with the headsman's axe. <laughs> sort of. I'm creeping up on you. I'm feeling yes. confident, having seen what your army is comprised of. Mm. I don't have much choice. It's that on mercenaries. I can't recruit much else. Yeah, that's it. And I've got upgraded units now. I've got a, not a heap amount of cash, but I'm getting some cash, from, of course, from my uh, mm. tributary states, and that's helping a little bit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's been how many fucking turns now? And now, for no apparent reason whatsoever, after I like practically begged them earlier to do this, the Jutes want a peace. <laughs> now, for, for like no fucking reason, they want peace and they want 120 gold for it. Where are they? I, in the middle of Italy. Well, that's no real concern of yours. I'd probably yeah. accept it. Yeah, I'm good. It's only 120 gold, and yeah. I've kind of, I've been I've been asking peace for these idiots for like I have I fucking thing. I do have a suspicion that the more enemies that you have, the less likely you are to gain like treaties with other people because they're skeptical of of your enemies. Like you've got too many of Maybe. them. Maybe, and that might yeah. be why. Apart from the fact that we're Christian, um, my guys were betraying me so much because I was up against the Roman yeah. Empire. But now the Roman Empire is so weak. They don't care I, I, so much. I've been up against the Roman Empire for like the entire game. Yeah, that's probably been a combination of factors. Probably. Also, yeah, I was yeah. quite close to Rome, whereas you have been completely out of yeah, reach I'm, of them. I've been distance from them quite a bit. Yeah. All right, continuing. Haven't heard a peep out of the Sassanids, which is good because the Sassanids will take us all down easily. Their early game is so easy. Hmm. In my uh, my Western uh, Empire fucking series, which I, I need to go back to, I haven't played that in ages actually. Yep. I've only ever played I've I've played the co-op with this, and that's like about it for quite a while. Yeah, that's another thing that people need to consider. Like they called you a bad player, but you played it what twenty hours max, right? Probably less than that. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've, I've actually I've gotten further with this co-op series than I have with my Western yeah. Roman Empire series. Like that doesn't make you a bad player; it makes you an experience. It's just like. Yeah, cut some <laughs> slack. Why, like, you know, the game only came out a month ago. Questions. You know, that's why I think that's why I got pissed off at that comment because it's uncalled for. Hmm? I don't mind that. I fully expected somebody to comment on the fact that I royally screwed up. Yeah, but I, I, I don't. I don't put that. up with it. I don't put up with it. I, yeah. don't, I don't care if people feel entitled to put comments like that. I don't. I don't like it. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't mind. I fully expected at least one of them to say something like that. The bit, the, the bit that was like, okay, that's a bit far, is when they they're uh, saying that. Like, practically demanding that you stop the series, you should just find someone else. Yeah, that's fucking annoying. I, I really yeah, that, hate it. Uh, that part, I was like, really? Okay. I really hate it when people who like, for example, my Western Roman Empire campaign is probably the most popular campaign on my channel at the moment. Um, yeah. When someone who likes that campaign goes over to one of my other videos and goes, stop uploading this, just upload WRE. I'm like, that makes me not want to upload Western Roman Empire. Yeah. And if you've noticed, I haven't uploaded anything in like three days. That's because... Mm. I'm pissed off with people with their with their whiny demands. It makes me not want to help. Uh, makes me not want to yeah. do it. You, you need to you need to record what you enjoy. Otherwise, it's just not fucking worth. And also, I I sort of would like a little bit of respect. Yeah. So if they're going to be a little child over it, would, what do you do with a child that doesn't do what they want? We take take away their shit. Take away their little goodies. Yeah. Of course, I still will release the episodes, but I'm just saying. Those yeah. those who are being a bitch, they're ruining it for everyone because it's making me not want to upload it. Mm. Behave or fuck off. That's all I have to say. Okay, so my income's gone down considerably, but that's probably because I recruited more units. So let's have a look here. I'm still not making very much from puppet states, and that. That army there did nothing, the Anglis one. Uh, I am the no. They didn't move It wouldn't have attacked me. It doesn't have the man. Uh, yeah. It would just, I bet it would have sort of like float in between both settlements until we kill them. 
Yeah, okay, well I'm gonna try and sabotage the bastard again. It's kind of helping you. Kind of. I'm focusing mainly on well, dealing failed. with my... <laughs> I'm just dealing with my economy and... Look, if they come after me now, I'm it's no big deal. I'm survive. My full stack is back. Uh, what I need to do is get rid of some of these goddamn mercenaries. There we go. Cleared up a thousand. Just get rid of those those units there. Also, I've got rivalry penalties. I really need to put that down. Good horde growth is improved slightly. For the tribe. Looks like they're recruiting another unit, or they're, they're recruiting more units. I need to put a stop to this. Ready for mm. orders. No, Tully Ferdum, you may not. Okay. Here's an I interesting little thing. You can pretty much just lay siege, sack, wait a turn, lay siege, sack, wait a turn. Yeah, and the point of this is to get my guys' experience. Yeah, well. exactly. Like, they get, get lots of experience. So this will be an easy one. And every reinforcing army gets a portion of that experience. Well, it's additional. It doesn't dilute the first army. Good. That reinforcing army does not show up now. Probably not going to get anywhere near as much money from sacking it as I did previously, but... Um, geez, 1,000. That's more than I expected. For the tribe. I got 2,000 originally from sacking mine, or 2,500 or something, and then I got 500 from sacking it the second time. There's also Argelia, oh. but... Uh, oh, it looks like these guys actually mm. decided to come home. Are they? Well, they're about to get a rebellion, too, because I keep sacking the settlement. <laughs> it's, a while, it's a while off. They're getting minus 25 every turn. They've still got 60 public order. Yeah. No, no, or do, you mean, or do you mean the Langobards are at minus fifty? Yeah, Langobards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're uh, they're near. They're screwed. Okay, this time I'm gonna put you there. I'm gonna try a three-region encampment because <laughs> that'll eliminate uh, rivalry penalties. Yeah. Have me make more money. However, it does put my guys slightly at risk. Just ever so slightly. I'm just thinking right now. If I can put if I can stabilize my economy to a certain point where it's not too bad. And I can just fucking run for the hills somewhere far away from you. Yeah. I get to the point where I can like I don't know, because you're always gonna be more powerful than me unless you slip up. I need you to slip up. Okay. Well, if you play long enough, eventually I will, but uh -huh. eventually I'll probably catch up with you as well. Yeah, that's the thing. So it's a risk. It's a gamble. But your army at this stage right here wouldn't stand much of a chance. No. Oh, good. All three of my armies back each other up, so that's great. It's just a question of, uh, do I want to run and continue to drag out the series and hope that I can uh, get enough power to put up a fight later on, or... Do I stay and try it in my luck? Yeah. Well, it's up to you. Mm. Uh, we'll try and stabilize my economy first. I can't run to Britain when I'm losing a grand every turn. I won't have any troops by the time I arrive. Yeah. Okay, so what units here are costing me money? Uh, Mercenary Nordic Axe Warband, they need to go. Uh, Mercenary Nordic Skirmishers, they need to go. Everyone else can stay for now. So that's lowering my strength, but at the same time, I'm strong enough to be able to handle anyone, I think. Mm, this Germanic band here, it's time to, I think, upgrade them. Oh, shit, I should have merged them first. The amount of chaos that's going on right now, I'm pretty sure with three stacks, you can probably take on any faction, other than maybe the Huns or... Yeah, there's Some no way I can take on the Huns. No. To do your duty but to the barbarian factions and anyone around Gaul and Germania and whatnot, I'm pretty sure you're safe. Possibly. Fight with us. It's a good life. Yes. Do you attack a uh, well-defended city and I'm playing it, in which case... Maybe. It's slightly risky with defending checkpoints. Maybe. Hmm. 
Okay, I think that's all I can do this turn. My income is minus 353, but that's okay. If I sack that city for a thousand a turn, that makes up for it. Um, now, it's just a question of... If you keep of... sacking it, surely the money goes down every turn. Well, it was at 4,000 last turn, so... Yeah. If you sack it a third time, it might be less. I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know. It might be. Yeah. Though I've sacked Argelia like consistently for the past few turns and I basically get a couple hundred out of it each turn yeah alright well we'll move on to your turn and we'll see if you can have some good luck I'm like little story from the fucking early days of my channel yeah it's funny I'm playing a, a mount and blade warband let's play campaign and yeah I keep trying to pronounce everything correctly not and I realize that nobody actually truly would ever know how it's actually pronounced because it's never ever spoken by the creators, ever. Any of the settlements. Yeah. And so I'm like sitting there trying to pronounce these words and realizing, why do I even need to try? Because nobody knows what they're so, actually pronounced as. Yeah, but somebody would say, oh, I pronounce it this way. That was right. You're wrong. Yeah. Of course, that's why I've... you just get these... Because those, those comments are so annoying. I'm just trying to avoid getting uh -huh. them. <laughs> then I realize that nobody could really truly know what they are because it, it's, it's never ever spoken by the creators. Well, in truth, the Game of Thrones shit has never been actually spoken by George R. R. Martin, but he like officially says how things are supposed to be pronounced. He like comes out with saying it. Yeah. So I, I want to find somewhere on the internet where we've decided that it's Blackfire and not Blackfrey. Uh, given how it's spelt, I, I would go with Blackfire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like fire. Fire is. It's not like fire. But, yeah. It, it probably is. I don't know why the hell I said it. But... Even if you if you, if you called it Black Fear, Black Fury, yeah. that would be okay. But, like, Black Fray. Like, the words just don't yeah. sort of ma match up. But that being no, said. No, I, I did realize after I recorded the series, I thought, why have I, why have I been calling it that? And then I thought, nah. I uploaded it and then just comments after comments after comments after comments after comments after comments. I think I think we all just need to admit that if words if the word isn't actually an English word, it doesn't matter if it's not pronounced correctly because it's always inferior. Yes. It's not in English, I don't give a shit. Yes. Everybody in the world should just speak English and then that's it. Mm -hmm. Vote you vote UKIP. They're gonna uh they're going to like make it illegal or something to speak anything but English on trains. <laughs> That's actually one of their policies. What? Yeah, because apparently if, if, if you're sitting on the train and someone's speaking a language other than English, it makes you feel uncomfortable. So because those people could be people, terrorists with bombs. People don't have an entitlement to be comfortable all the time. I know, right? But uh, yeah, that's one of their policies, is something about making it illegal or enforcing English on trains, but that right. raises the question: Do people are people uncomfortable with people speaking French on trains? Ready for battle. I mean, someone's talking French. You don't think they're a terrorist? I, I assume they mean like Middle East dialects and whatnot, mm. languages, and whatnot. That's but still still just you, kid, for you. Yeah, I'm just a bit baffled by stupidity. Did someone of... illegalize handguns and uh, blow up windmills. Right. Jesus Christ. But everyone ignores all of these crazy ass motherfucking policies and just focuses entirely on their immigration thing because they, a large section of the British population want to get rid of uh, immigration. You can't get rid of immigration. But they, they have this crazy idea that you, if UKIP gets in, we're just going to sort everything out. It's all going to be fixed magically. Poof. Immigration. The, reality, the reality is... If anyone thing. but the current administration gets in as shit as they are, like the last four or so fucking years since they've been in, they're going to be completely a waste of time. Yeah. My thoughts on immigration is that immigration is a good thing if it's dealt with correctly. Like, hmm. there's nothing oh, wrong you with... You guys de you guys deal with it correctly. No, we don't. Don't you? No. Simpsy was going on. It sounded way better than what we do. We're, we're probably better, but we're not 100%. You're certainly better. I'm pretty sure you are. I, I'd say we're probably better. Because from, from what I hear, um, I, I hear you have a problem with Pakistani people. That's what I've heard. Ready for orders. In regard to immigration? It, it, it's, it's everyone, really, but the people okay. who have a real problem with it focus on them. Yeah. I've also heard about Polish people. 
Maybe that's Ireland that have problem with Polish people. No, I, I think Polish people was the old. Was the old. Ah, too many Polish. Right. And now it's, ah, too many patties. And <laughs> right. then, like, ten years later, it's going to be, ah, it's too many, it's too many something else. <laughs> you know, it's like a phase. Yes. Yeah. I reckon it'll be Australians at one, one point. Nowadays. The Polish come over and they do an excellent job. <laughs> That's the thing. I, I don't mind them. Yeah, like I said, cool. there's nothing wrong with like someone from another country coming yeah. over. If they to come your country, over and they, they get a job, and they do a great job, more than welcome. You know, they might have an accent, but there's nothing wrong with that. They could keep their that. own I, language. I, I, one thing we have is the people coming over doing absolutely no work. That's exactly it. At all yeah, and, and then getting the doll. That's yeah. That's the problem. That's where you treat them. That's the wrong way to treat. The thing is, yeah. people on welfare. That's actually bad for them. Like it's mm. it's a way to perpetualize bloody poverty, is through the doll. Like they. Yeah, the thing is, yeah. they come over. They don't get any jobs. They have like ten kids, and they get child benefits extra. And they use all that money to live off each other. People do that. Yeah. And those people that need to be dealt with. Every, yes. Everyone else. I agree. If they come over and work, it's fine. We should probably get off this topic. We're going to be sitting talking about it for ages. Yeah. That's absolutely nothing to do with I don't feel that uh, we're going to be spoken negatively about that one. Or it's no, going no, to be no. fucking negatively on us. I don't think that's an unpopular opinion that we hold. No, it isn't. Saying that we don't have a problem with people coming into our country if they're willing to contribute to the overall economy and not actually just take all of our money and do nothing and drink alcohol. I think that's it's, a fair it's statement. It's reasonable, please. It's, it's uh, believe, very yeah. much reasonable. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Anyway, okay. play your turn. We have all day. I'm playing it. Alright. More cunning? Yeah, why not? And integrity kind of needed. I didn't sack the. Um, the what's it called? Uh, the Argelians. Oh, no, no, the Langobards. This turn, I just didn't feel the need to. They have it. They're avoiding their capital. They don't want to go back there. Yeah, they're ho they're hovering over by me. Last I checked. No, no, they're Langobards. Oh, no, not the Langobards. The Angles. Yeah, I can't do anything. I can't get to the Angles. Actually, you know what? I might. Thinking is, I want to raise it. Do it. Because that'll allow you. But that. But that would allow you to subjugate them. Yeah, it's exactly the reason I didn't raise. But if you subjugate them, I can subjugate the Langobards. Yeah. You know what? I'm pretty sure my guys have a bigger army than the. I might just let you do that. Thank me later. Because we're in a stalemate here. I can't move without these guys being removed. So I'll leave you to do your thing against them. Yeah. Move out. Starting out. The question is, will they remain as their tribute state once they're my tribute state? No? Uh, I don't know. I don't think you can have a tributary state that has a tributary state. You hope. No, there I don't, is a lot I don't of think bins you can. In your neighborhood. What is with all the damn trucks? There's lots of different types of bins. You see, we live in a country that's... We live in an area that's... Well, it's a country, I guess, where people have grass clippings everywhere. So there's the bin that comes and gets the recycling. There's the bin that gets the rubbish, and the, there's the bin that gets, sorry, the garbage guy that comes and gets all the like the grass clippings. So those, it all goes to different areas. They don't all just dump it all in one hole. Yeah, yeah, we got that as well. But generally, when they come to pick up shit, they take all of the bins. Or, or I think they don't pick them up all in the same. Why are we on the topic of bin delivery? Because you, because you can hear the the bins at the back of my house. Anyway, your turn. I don't know. Yeah. I've done the border thing as well, so my forces have no longer got the rivalry bollocks. Which I should have done like a turn but back. Yeah. Okay. Do you know if... Um... Oh, they abandoned their territory, the motherfuckers. <laughs> I can't subjugate them now. They gave up on it. Oh, piece of crap, Langobard motherfuckers. Goodbye! Son of a bitch. <laughs> Poor little legend. Loses a, no, a potential no tributary, tributary state. state. Well, I'll see if I can just get peace with them now, because there's no... There's no benefit to me being at war with them. 
Well, you guys want me to join the war against the people with like three to four fucking stacks in return for a grand. Uh, no. As much as I'd like a grand, I'm not going to war with people with like three fucking stacks <laughs> right yeah. now. I have enough issues. I'm actually losing a nine coin every turn now. Weird. It might have something to do with the devastation in the area. Possibly. I think my income dropped a little bit. This is why I don't really rely on uh, fertility based buildings, because by the end of the game they're worthless anyway. Yeah. Because I think it gets to like minus three or four, the uh, climate change. So basically, only the richest of territories are anything other than poor, mm. not infertile. Like, by the end of this game, it's acted as if it's an ice age. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, and this uh, ruined wasteland, mostly. Just look at the place. It's yeah, you just wait, wait until you see winter. Wait, winter 450 AD <laughs> is ridiculous. I On doubt spring and autumn, it's true. like, you just... Like, that is not a spring or an autumn to see that much snow everywhere. So much snow, it, like, even reaches Africa. Who are the Allens? Uh, they're a nomadic faction that's based down in uh, Italy now, I think. I don't know where they are. Let me check. Yeah, no, they're in Africa. Africa? Yeah. They started Why off the in the steppes. Why the fuck are the Angles asking me to go to... Why the fuck are the Angles asking me to go to war with these Allen guys, who's an undiscovered faction for in order in return for 500 gold? They're ages away. They're probably not going to come and hunt you down, but I wouldn't go ahead with that. Yeah, I don't really want more enemies. Even for 500 gold, which isn't a lot. So, yeah, I'll decline, thanks. <laughs> yeah, probably a good move. Just in case. I doubt yeah, my income dropped. That many, but... <laughs> my, my income's risen a little bit. It's gone from minus nine to minus two. <laughs> Jeez. Moving up in the world. Mm hmm. Mine's now minus 800 talents a turn. There is serious. Did not a lot of land left. <laughs> Just ruins scattered everywhere. Well, if we go in uh, the east, I'm sure there's plenty of land. They don't really tend to... Okay, I've increased an Imperium, which means I can get more spies and stuff, more armies. Yeah, none of that stuff really matters too much. Axum and the Eastern Roman Empire are with each other. I hate the Roman Separatists. There's like so much in my Western campaign because yeah. they're just in the middle of nowhere, not really being a civil war, and yet they give me minus public order. And I'm like, just die. Huh? You're not doing anything. You're just camping in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by my enemies. Yeah, pretty and they much. Help, they help my enemies as well, which annoys me. Why would the barbarians work with Roman separatists? Don't know. It does not make any sense to me at all. Yeah. Oh, whoops. Alright, so... What am I going to do? So who are these over here? This is the Burgundians. Uh, the Angles have moved up this way. Yeah, they're, they're uh, at their main camp right now. Uh, I was kind of hoping I might be able to just turn them into a horde or something. Okay, so Langobards, let's be done with them. Welcome. High chances, let's see how much money I can get out of them. Do not waste time, better spend it hunting. 1,200. That's good. That pays for my problems, at least. Burgundians. I have little gain in Low chances of that. Here. Maybe I should what go hunt say? them down. I... Anyways, there's lots of people out here. How much money am I making from tributary states now? It's actually gone down a little bit. I wonder why that is. Oh, hang on. What's this? This is owned by Illyria. Illyria has expanded. Good. Good, good, good. That'll be worth more money for me in time if they would 
just to invest a bit more in it. I, who's this as well? Markermans have expanded. Excellent. That's probably why their incomes dropped a little bit, but this could be temporary. As long as they don't go killing each other, I'm happy with that. So then, do we London's go... London's been burnt to the ground. What's that? London has been burnt to the ground. Oh, well. It, it no. happens, I guess. We rebuilt it before. We'll rebuild it again. I'm just waiting for someone to burn Rome to the ground. I'm just wondering, should I go east and subjugate the Burgundians? Because they're at war with me. Let me just see him at war with. I'm at war with the Romans. I'll see if I can get a peace treaty with them because they've got other Greetings problems. I doubt Still it. Low. Yep. Eastern Empire. Nope. Got Burgundians and all these other people here. You, not... you must be getting poor income if you're sitting in desolate regions. Yeah. Speak if you must. Yeah. Uh, although I've built up stuff that doesn't require much fertility, so it's not a big deal. Yeah. Which is probably something that I should have done. Rather than getting some uh, farms. Yeah, it depends on what kind of farms. Like, you need farms for food, but you go for, like, the goat herds, which don't really uh, rely much on desolate territories. I went, sh I went sheep. Yeah, there you go, sheep. Sheep's no mm. good. Somewhat. Okay. Hmm, the thing is... I shouldn't have raised this settlement in hindsight. Like, I had a good thing going here. And now these guys are back. Let's even get a peace treaty with them. Speak. Considering you just burnt down their shit, I doubt it. Speak. Nope, can't they hate me? Okay, if I go to the Burgundians, who hates them? You hate the Burgundians as well. Which one of those? Uh, they're a little bit further east. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see them. There's some of them off the, uh, off the coast near Denmark, actually. Yeah. Where they at, you can probably go fuck them up. Yeah, the problem is I've got a good thing going in regard to the regions here. And I'm still skeptical of, like, moving away from here. Moving... Hmm. The thing is... Shit, I don't know what to do. Well, because you raised that, ra you raised that place. Which, yeah. Like you said, you probably would have been better off not doing. Yeah. Well, I thought what was going to happen is that you would subjugate the Angles and I would subjugate the Langobards, and with that little bit of extra <laughs> no, no, income... Ruined your plan. But yeah, you got the Angles and I didn't get the Langobards. Mm. Because they abandoned it. They might occupy elsewhere, but that's not my concern right now. I'm still worried that my other... My, my, my client states are still going to try and betray me. I mean, the Thuringians, they don't like me. It's deteriorating a little bit. I wonder why that is. Uh, the Markermans, they like me. Illyrians hate me, but it's improving. The Alamans, they are neutral towards me, but they're, it's improving. So, oh right, because my Imperium went up. That's why people hate me. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> For the, the downsides to power. Yeah, The Franks are just owning Italy. That uh, army of, of theirs... It's just those units. Ready for battle. All right, I have an idea. On the it's not much of an idea, but it's an idea. I'm gonna slowly creep my way up What's north. Thirsty for battle. Stay away from the north. Starting out. You don't want to come up here. We have snow and. I like white snow. Walkers. But what about the White Walkers? I'm not afraid of the dead. Technically speaking, the White Walkers are oh, the okay. The White Walkers are dead. The others are not. Starting okay. Out. Not afraid of them. Else. Game of Game of Thrones logic. Yep. Oh, I actually make more money by doing this. Man, probably because it hasn't help? taken the rivalry penalty into account yet. That's fine. Okay, so I can build more stuff. So Herder's camp doesn't require any fertility. Gives 100 extra wealth, 40 extra food. Ready for battle. Let's go with that. And these guys over here. Where's my smaller army? Yeah, this one. The okay, tribe. they've got two growth. What do I expand them on? Uh, so if I build a tent encampment, 
consumes 40 food, provides extra growth, and provides wealth from subsistence. How's her integrity anyway? It's maxed out, that's good. Herders camp, should we go goat herd? For extra food. It's got 70 food, it'll consume an extra 15. That'll take three turns to build, but extra money and growth. I really can't turn that down, that sounds good. Oh, what about... No, you can't grab that. You could... You don't have enough food though. No, that one is food. I'm just trying to decide what the best way is to go about this. I think I might play it safe and just keep going with more food. Just for now. Well, really, the probably the best thing for you to do is just to become even more powerful than you already are. I'm not going to be able to attack you. Any direct assault is doomed. <laughs> yeah, well... I still need you to... Could just, if you get a fourth stack, you could just steamroll everyone. Yeah, yeah, I can't afford a fourth stack, though. I'm actually... Yes, yeah, so, I mean, if you waited and played it safe. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing. I, I don't want to blow my chance, so to speak. Hmm. Keep it on normal tax rate. I don't mind losing 687 a turn. That's not that much. How can I help? There's always a chance that uh, my vassals are going to increase in wealth. I could possibly get rid of some of these guys that are costing me a bit of money. Maybe get rid of the pikes. They're not that important. Uh, actually, that one there is costing me a little bit more. I should probably get factional troops on that one. That saves me a bit of cash. Mercenary Germanic Hunters. Let's get rid of those. I wonder if I can call the gates into war against you. The gates are ages away, though. The gates are just north in Denmark. Oh, are they? Oh, yeah, well, mm -hmm. I, I doubt they'll actually do anything. And spread out the rest of course everyone. I doubt they'll accept in the first place. Yeah, Savage. probably not. Remember, everyone's a bit dodgy with, because of trespassing. Yeah. I doubt they would, and I doubt they'd do anything. <laughs> they are clever. What's going on? Are you doing the thing? Accomplish the mission? Good. So that guy's been... Yeah, we're safe. That's 80%. All good. Okay, let's move on to your turn. Uh-huh. Oh, hang on. Got an unassigned skill for this dude. Uh, you can... I need you to have lots of cunning. Well, that's not going to happen this turn. There you go. Have murder. Embrace the murder. And it's your turn. Good lord, there's a lot of uh, eastern, like, Thrace, sort of, like, northern Gaul, uh, northern Greece region that's... Whoa! Is that all desolate regions? Pretty much. Uh, right. How much footage you got? I got about 54 well. minutes, so yeah, we'll probably yeah. end it it's in like a minute. It's like 30 minutes to midnight here, so yep. probably want to end it on your turn. Yep. Then I can chill a bit before I go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, and you can p probably plan some strategy about what you're going to do about the situation uh, here. Yeah, there isn't much strategy to be had. The, the strategy would be starting from scratch <laughs> and <laughs> playing better with the knowledge I have now. You could you could just run away because I wouldn't be able to catch you. I could run away, but I'd be in immense debt and lose a lot of shit. <laughs> I'm just thinking: Do we want to run away and drag out the series longer? That's up to you. There's ne you never know. You know, all of my client states might abandon me and I might go into massive debt myself. True, I suppose I, suppose I could. Because it's only a matter of time. Some of them hate me. I'm just running yeah. out the clock here. But then again, massive debt would take me a very long time to arrive because I've got 40000 in the bank. Mm. I could sail over to the west and, like, around Gaul, maybe attack Spain... There's got to be fractured factions over there. Maybe. Britain's kind of out of the question. I could sack some shit on the way there, though. Since they picked a way, like, quite fucking powerful. I don't want to make an enemy of them. Yeah. But the thing is, even if I went, like... What the hell are the Andals doing? I call them the Andals, stupidly. Which is from... Wow. Uh, from yeah, I know, from Game of Thrones. Yeah. You do too much Game of Thrones stuff. <laughs> uh huh. But yeah, if even if I went all the way to like over to the west and ran away from you, there's a, I mean, 
the only way I'm going to get to the point where I'm like powerful enough to stand against you and match you army for army is if you fuck up at some point. Yeah. And with free stacks, I don't think you're going to fuck up. Well, you never know. Hmm. I mean, I screwed up before. I know I had decent stuff. Okay, war declared, Saxon vandals. Yep, yeah, uh, I'm aware of that. Mm -hmm. Master of State tribute. What's this? Uh, greetings. I bought. Oh, okay. Someone. The, uh, one of those faction things are for me this time. So this guy's <laughs> bought me a gift for my people in order that we may improve relations. From from where? Well, just I would accept it. Accept it. Yeah. That's one of those situations where, why the fuck would you ignore it? Well, what if it's like a snake? Then, I doubt that's an option. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you're allergic to the kind of cake icing that's on his present and you spit it yeah. in his face. They are getting you a guys are goddamn well mustering. I don't think I could do anything about these guys. About the angles. They're, they're holed up Raising there. Raising more troops. I, I really should not have raised that settlement. Hmm. This might be good for me. If the yes. angles get a secondary stack, hold them off for long enough for me to get uh, enough power to get a third stack of my own. But even then, your forces are probably better than mine. Hmm, maybe. Anyway, I think we'll uh, end it here, and I'll think about my situation yeah. and what best to do, because I can't just sit here and do nothing. I mean, I could just turtle and just sit on the three borders... And uh, keep growing my stacks. Uh, keep growing my. It'd be horde. very boring. Because It'd be we're very both boring. Doing that's that. right. We we need to do something. We're both basically doing that. Problem so, yeah. is, this is a stalemate right here. I can't attack, and you can't attack. So yeah, I need to come up with something. I just, my options are limited. Anyway, guys, like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out Soul's channel. Links in the description, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Goodbye.